name's Karen and this is Charlie. He's 15 years old and I've had him for approximately six months. I really want to saddle what fits him properly. Right, I'm a Society of Saddlers qualified saddle fitter and um, in most cases a lot of people ask me to come out to their horse and assist them in getting the correctly fitting saddle for their horse. First of all I'm checking the muscle which is a big long muscle here called the longissimus muscle and what I'm looking for any lumps, bumps and a nice natural square levelness. And that's nice, this is going to be a quite a difficult fit in the fact that it's a very broad horse. So it's got to have a saddle that's got, it's quite broad across the gullet to take in this very broad spinal area here as well. Now I'm going to check the spinal or the dorsal process and again for a horse this age that's not bad at all. Shall we try the, um, the most inexpensive in the Highland and Cobb, the yeah. ideal Highland and Cobb? Yeah. They looked really quite nice. Yeah. yeah. One of the most frequent problems I find when we're fitting saddles is a lot of people put their saddles on too far forward. Mm -hmm. It is important that a saddle is, as I said, the point must be two inches behind the edge of that shoulder blade. It is so easy, and specifically when you have a number on, to actually put the saddle too far forward on top of the shoulder. There's two inches of pivotal movement with the shoulder blade as the horse goes through its different gates. Yeah. So I cannot emphasise the fact, make sure that saddle goes back. A lot of people who use breastplates drag the saddle forward. That is only going to inhibit the horse's gait. Release the shoulder, you'll get a better movement. The horse will be happier. Providing you don't go beyond the last rib onto the loin area, the saddle is designed to sit level on the rib cage. Use that rib cage. Right, if I put direct pressure down on the pommel, I don't want to see any movement behind the, in the saddle here. You can see how level the saddle is in the centre. There's plenty of freedom of the wither and there's total freedom of the shoulder. Next thing I'm looking for, and this is another very important point, I'm looking for the stirrup lever to come right down the centre of the flap. I'm looking for the stirrup to be just behind the girth and then I know when the rider is on board, that the heel will be level with the centre of the saddle. That I then know the saddle of the horse rider will be perfectly balanced in a perfect balanced riding position. What in effect you are in the saddle, you're stood up. All you're doing is going from the standing position, dressage, GP, jumping. Your frame of your body doesn't actually move. So it's important to get this part a level. <laughs> Right, well this fulfills all the criteria that I'm looking for for a good fit in saddle. We're totally clear at the shoulder, we've got plenty of wither height there. We haven't moved, you can actually see the grease mark here, it hasn't moved one iota. It sits lovely in the back, the saddle sits well behind the shoulder as we wanted, the minimum of two inches. The knee is right into the knee roll, the stirrup lever is right behind the girth as it should be in the stirrup, with the heel right in line with the centre of the hip, shoulders, ears. That rider, if we take the feet out of the stirrups, will not move. Take your feet out of the stirrups, can Doesn't move whatsoever. So you see how we've got all the hair going in the same direction. A lovely outline of the saddle. If you look at the saddle panel, you can see a lovely even distribution of the grease with no hollowing or heaviness throughout the length of the panel.